I'm contemplating my hot cross buns creativity Easter recipe. <laughs> I'm actually worried it's not going to work. My honeycombs didn't work. They worked, but they didn't work. Half of them worked, half of them turned to shit. So let's pray that this afternoon, with my head down in the oven, get it done, it'll work. It'll work. Positive. Positivity. Hey guys, how are we going? It's Nikita Gaddy, Mystery Revolution, back at you with another recipe today. So this time we have two because it's Easter week and we need our last minute recipes to be done ASAP. So these, of course, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, we've got the kids here, we've got lots of recipes going on, we've got Bowie in, that's when you know it's serious. <laughs> so, <laughs> I <hate> myself. <laughs> yes, this is a very last minute tutorial, and they're super, super, super duper healthy, they're super duper affordable, and they're very minimal ingredients as well. You can take in and take out as many or less ingredients as you'd like. So, without further ado, let's get started. I've got my, my little messy writing here, just excuse that because I'm terrible, messy. so don't write. <laughs> Very much. Huh? Just ignore it. Yeah, it, ignore it. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we're gonna start with our little hot cross buns because they need to go in the oven. So then while they're in the oven, they're gonna be in for about 30 minutes, so then we can start a little other one that's a surprise for you. So first we've got almond milk, we've got three cups. So I'm gonna be making two serves of these because one serve of hot cross buns makes 12. So I want to make a few more. Um three four cups. Big guy. So Starting, we've got one full cup. We're going to pour our almond meal. I didn't open it very well, did I? Oopsie. I should have cut it, but I'm not very clearly not a professional. Yeah, that's a good thing. We want it in the bowl. That's one. Lucky I got two bags. Two. to do all your wet and dry ingredients separate. So that's what we're gonna do. Then we need a bit of pink salt. So, pink salt. Pink. no, not poo salt. Healthy pink for you, salt. pink salt. Yeah. Pink the white salt's salt. not good for you. I said pink and you said poo. A little pinch. Little I pinch. Pinch. That little, who does that little like? Double. <laughs> it's a Half a teaspoon of bicarb. So where's my bicarb? Bicarb. Got me a little bicarb soda, a little box on the side, a little... Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little door handle. <laughs> <laughs> a little doorway. And it knock, looks knock. like your little face like, bam, 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 bam. Okay, done your little bicarb soda, now we need half a cup of coconut. Coconut milk. <laughs> no. Coconuts. I coconut love with the gorgon. Wait, where's half a cup? King King. That's four. Um, spoon. <laughs> you might need a spoon. <laughs> That's a spoon. Have you got a spoon? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a baby spoon. Huh? It's little. You're little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she's five and we are five and No. See? Uh, oh, oh no, wait, I've got to make, make sure I'm going to put the wet separate. See? Y'all are distracting me. Let's just leave that there for now. Does because... it taste good or taste bad? This? Mm. I know you want to try it. Yeah, no. I'm just going to have to put that aside for a little sec. You want to look after that one for me? Um, honey, no. Small eggs, no. Cinnamon, yes. Normal cinnamon ground. One no. tablespoon. No, one teaspoon. Sorry, that's my oh, fault. Oh, teaspoon. All right. Don't do too much. I'm going to do half a tablespoon because I dirtied my teaspoon. So, what's one fourth on a no, teaspoon? Is it a <laughs> no idea. Why oh, would you do one fourth of a cup? Huh? Get to do four of each. Do three what? each of everything. Yeah, three each of this. Could you? Our little nutmeg ground. Nutmeg. Um, then, what would you say the chips are? Are they dry or wet? Dry. Wet, <laughs> wet, 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 wet. wet. Yes. Um, three fourth cup. So. Oh, I actually saw that. Mm. Yeah. 
Huh? When you were getting, I thought that, when you were getting that one, I saw the three, four. Ah, good girl. Alright. So I'm going to need a little all spice up in here. Y'all going to make me spice all out. Up in here. Up in here. Alright, alright, alright. Mmm, that is yum. How is all spice? Oh, all spice. Yeah. I have it's all spices in one. Thanks. Alright, dear. Yeah. We've got a lovely mess over here. Now we're gonna yeah. mix it together. Alright, now we're gonna mix all the dry together. So I'm just giving it a little yeah. stir. Hopefully I've got enough of every spice in there. To make everything more. Nice. Yep, got me bicarb. This looks hella good. Bicarb. <laughs> bicarb. Alright. Let's start with the wet. <laughs> what? Regina. Yeah, she's a little dirty right now, so let's not appreciate her yet. But yeah, just quietly, I did get my top stuff. <laughs> let's start with our coconut oil. We've got half a cup, which it looks like absolute. Mm -hmm. My little sister. My little, little sister. Yeah, little sister. Yes. Okay. Okay. Raw honey, we need one fourth. Thank you, darling. Mm. Thank you so kindly. Honey. Raw honey. Raw honey. I reckon raw honey. I mean raw honey. I reckon one fourth is equivalent to a big tablespoon. Mm -hmm. I reckon. So that's just. <laughs> My judgment is probably poor as. Wow. That's all. She's like, you want honey? Water honey. Not like the fish. We didn't like honey. fish. <laughs> I do not like fish. You don't like fish. Why not? You don't like fish. Oh no, my no gosh! <laughs> Vanilla bean bean paste. We've been talking about this stupid paste all day. It's about time we get it in there. Really? Okay, no. Baba, you're This is not like this. I like to move, but Baba didn't like this. I don't like it. I hate it. Yeah. That's so funny. Issue for my issue Mom, over here. Mom, it's usually Mom, a thing that's on your head. Mom, <laughs> Mom, yeah, the red. It looks shit. Hey, it looks bad, doesn't it? It doesn't. It looks cute. <laughs> Literally just throw my thumbs together. You know, it's just natural. Mom, let me smell the vanilla bean paste. <laughs> Who makes you smell it? Your mum. <laughs> Why? Because it smells like. Smell that. It smells like medicine. Let the girls smell it. Really? Look, mm. really. You like it? Let's um. Yeah, I don't like it. I do. I love. I love. I do. Holy I do. I do. I do. Crack a little egg or two. A little baby yolk. Yolk. A little embryo. Is that what they call it? Here you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, doll. Thanks, Bridges. That's what I mean, um, and Daddy. Oh. This, your eyes are gonna go stupid because I'm going literally like this. Oh, hey, no, I'm turning into an eyeball. Look, Mama. Okay. You turn into an eyeball. <laughs> Mama. Let's wish this bad boy. Bad boy? Yeah, she's a bad boy. You're a boy. Ew. <laughs> Looks like vomit right now, but. Eww, yummy. <laughs> yummy. Disgusting. That's what you mean, Jabby. <laughs> Okay. I'm stupid. Huh? I'm stupid. Okay, I'm stupid. That does not look very nice. It's all right. Huh? The colours are the top. And you you better mix that. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. That's silly. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. 
Let's hope this gels all together nicely. Ooh, look what we're whipping! Whip it, whip it real good. Whip it, whip it real good. Is anyone else not as excited as me about this hot cross bun right now? I love hot cross buns. Mm. Me too. Yeah? That smells so good! This was so easy, like legit. Like now, after this, after we whip it together, we just gotta put it in the oven. Anyway, who wants to taste the dough? I'm more interested hey, in the dough than anything. Hey, 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 hey. Put your fingers in one at a time, like all, <laughs> all together. So, Shadi, I go. I can't get Actually, it. Actually, no, just hate it. Say that. All right, yeah. That's enough. Don't do that face, because then they'll think it's yuck. <laughs> What's it missing? Is it honey? Who? Does it need more honey? Yes. Mate, do you want to try it? You try it. Yes. A bit more like more cinnamon honey. or something. Look here. Maybe a bit more vanilla. Is this Nutmeg. like? Can it, you see with the food colour maybe yeah, it takes the hot cross buns in the green? No, no, we're not doing that. Oh. Alright, a little bit of... Nikita, she knows what she's got to do with those. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. I know what you're doing. A little bit more spice, a little bit more vanilla. Vanilla. Where is it? <laughs> right in front vanilla. of your face. Vanilla and vanilla. My face, your face. Have I seen her now? Oh my gosh, yuck. If you say I'm going to put fish in here one more time... <laughs> I'm calling this off. This is not happy. Easter is off. It's done. I like your fish because oh. I'm making fish in there with some skeleton. Skeleton. Alright, here comes the fun part, guys. Look out, look out, look out. Chill out, guys. This is like the really exciting moment. It says, an I do we have an ice cream scooper to measure it that way? But a tablespoon is the same. So. Just slap it on. Yeah. <laughs> it's really wet. I'll slap your pets out of the truck. <laughs> if I, if this is really mushy, if I put it in a bowl, will it set wrong in the thing? Does it, it? Will it melt? Like it won't really no, matter if they're deformed. It doesn't matter if they're mushy. I'll dry up. Secret one, two, secret thing. Soon you remember the surprise. Yeah, it will set into a square. I'm hoping. <laughs> To make the little, okay, they don't really very appealing, but it's yeah. the taste that matters. Yeah. So, got some gluten-free, plain Gluten. flour. Flour. Is it soon done? Popping that off. Just put a tiny bit of water into the bowl, mm -hmm. and then gluten-free flour on top. And then no measurements, so just gonna pour a little bit Mama, in and. Time scooping this into here. Bring it up. Maximum 30, so like, oh. Okay, what a mission. And I, when I mean a mission, I mean that like, I fully cried. I've never cried over a recipe. I don't even cry in general. Like I'm not easily like so pissed off like that. Um, but oh my God, like everything just went wrong. <sighs> everything went like super no, I wouldn't say super wrong, but, like, I just have literally never been so frustrated in my life. I started, when did I start? I got home from work around 8.30, 
and I started straight away. Like I literally had coffee, had a quick breakfast. Latest was starting by nine. It's now 10 to 12, 10 to 12. Like that's how many times I had to fucking throw it in the bin, restart, put it back in the oven, put it back on the hot plate, put it back in the freezer. Like I was just, I've never been so frustrated in my life. Um, our oven is like really, really old. So it. Not that it doesn't cook the best, but it's just like, I don't know why, but the bottom of my hot cross buns had burnt three times. And that's when I knew that it wasn't what I was doing. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's just our oven. Um, I had the first time, the first time was a complete fail, which is I'm going to include. I'm going to include it in, sorry, I haven't even done my hair. I'm going to include it in the video what they look like. They literally were just like a massive flop. They went flat. They like burnt super duper quickly. Like I had put it on, um, I had tried a recommended like temperature and like, cause I made up this recipe, but I looked on other, re other hot cross bun recipes to see like what to the temperature difference would be. And I would just like base it off that. Anyway, so I tried that. That didn't go well, so I thought maybe I just need to put a little bit more, like make them more dewy, and then just put it on low, so they really, really slow cook. Did that the second time, didn't work, right? I was fuming. I tried again this morning, and I did them medium, so I did them not really, really soft, and soft enough so they would stay, but this was the other thing. They kept going flat, so like, the, I'm telling you though, these taste amazing. They just everything that just those little little things that make a whole cross punch like weren't working so what else did i do i oh and this one and this one i just did now which i'm a lot happier with i'm still in because they burnt a little bit on the bottom i tried just putting them on a stick free um tray without the paper um because sometimes the paper can um interrupt that as well like i tried so many different techniques didn't bloody work so i'm now i've put it down to it's just our oven it's really really old it was like this house has been built back in like when my mum was a child so um it's really really old it's like 50 60 plus years old um so I'm happy I put I did put some self-raising flour in it a little bit I put probably like a tablespoon not even um just so they could they would grow up because hot cross buns are meant to be like a bun it's not meant to be flat so Twice they kept burning, twice they kept going flat. And um, yeah, so I just tweaked those little things. I added um, self-raising flour and I made them smaller and a bit more fluffier so they would go up. Um, and this time I'm happy with how they came out. Um, another thing though, get a proper piping bag or whatever they call them for like the cakes and the icing because I, I just use a Ziploc bag and cut the corner. Even though you cut it so friggin' tiny so it comes out fine, because you're putting so much pressure for it to come out, the bag splits and my crosses didn't come out like crosses. So <laughs> let's just say that. Um, so if you're planning to do this, especially for an occasion, if you're just going to have them at home, it really doesn't matter because it still tastes the same. It still looks just as good. But if you're like reselling them or you're going like taking them to a party or give them a, as a gift, then definitely go get a proper bag with a metal tip on the end so it doesn't split, obviously. That was the only other thing. So then while those were cooling, I got onto my other two recipes. I finished off my honeycomb bites. So that was another one that I had to do twice as well. The first time I had done the honeycomb right, but what happened was I didn't, I cooked, I heated the chocolate straight on a, on a pan or a saucer, whatever you call it, like straight on the cooktop, which made it really, really clumpy and like burnt super quickly. Um, so that was the first bun. I thought that that was just like the way it was. Um, so I still put it on the honeycomb. I let it cool down, but I realized after I let it cool down too much, it wasn't like liquid, like it wasn't melted anymore. So then I had to reheat it. It was a lot of back and forth. Um, and then, so I put it on when it was warm so it wouldn't melt. But because the chocolate was still warm, the honeycomb, because it's just coconut sugar and honey, it literally just melted. So it was like this, you can only imagine what a mess this thing was. I've been doing this all week back and forth. Um, and today was just like a disaster. So I fixed the honeycomb, which is, I'm so happy with, that's fine. Um, so what I did was I put the, I boiled some water in a big pot 
and then I got a like medium sized ball that fits in it. Um, and then I warmed up and heated the chocolate in there so it would melt really smoothly and it did like it worked perfectly it was so glossy so smooth oh it was delicious so that worked out really well so I'm happy with that one I just have to cut them so hopefully if they cut properly and they don't because honeycomb can like snap like it doesn't cut the way you want it to cut it can just like snap so I'm hoping that it'll work um when I cut them as well fingers crossed um and the lucky last one I made was um chocolate ness so literally like an egg nest um I just heated up some raw cacao um honey and coconut oil in the same thing in the bowl on top of the pot with the boiling water added shredded coconut stirred and stirred and stirred then this one was hard because it was so fidgety like it was just it was sticky, but it wasn't sticking together. It was just sticking to my hands. And then I had to make the eggs. Like I made little eggs to go on top. Um, and you needed coconut butter or regular butter. So obviously you want to use the healthier alternative. But because it was butter, it just it kept melting in your fingers. And I did the bowl up. So I did the butter, the honey. I put food color in. So obviously it looked like a little egg, um, like an Easter egg put it in the freezer for a little bit so it would kind of set so I could kind of form it more into an egg. The second you put it in your hands, it literally just melted like no kid. And oh, it was just, so that was really, that was really, really tough. That was the toughest one, but I was just focused in my own headspace. I was completely on my own. So I could just focus and, you know, concentrate. And it, it was hard in that aspect, but I just kept being patient, breathing. <laughs> um, so they all, they just had to go in the freezer so they could set. So I wasn't very happy with them when I put them in the freezer. So I'm hoping some magic will happen. And when I bring them out, they'll be even better. Um, so I did not plan for this video to be like this at all. I honestly, it was just going to be like a talk through, do the recipes with me. And it was all going to be all right. I was going to do a taste test, which I still might do at the end. But I'm just, to be honest, I'm so just so frustrated. Like I've never had, every time I've cooked something, this is the first time that something has gone extremely wrong in a recipe. Like any other ones I easily could have fixed um, and have before, but it's never been this bad. So I'm just like super annoyed at myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just being honest with you guys. I didn't want to remake it and think that you like, yeah, it comes out perfect. Like, wanted to let you know on the little thing, the little mistakes I made. Um, and if you make the same mistake, at least you know how to fix it after. So um, I'm just waiting for them to freeze and to cook. And then I'm going to finish this video. So, gosh. Uh, I just can't believe it. Oh. But anyway. At least I'm being honest, right? Not everything goes as planned and not everything is butterflies and sunshine. And this is our second attempt. I've rolled them a lot more smaller and put a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of the self-raising flour because they're having trouble. Um, the other ones came out black. So if these can raise a little bit, um, so all the other ingredients are still the same. I just added a bit more self-raising flour. The taste, the texture, everything was perfect. It was just that um, they didn't rise and they just spread it completely flat. So I wasn't happy with those. So this is our second attempt and we'll see how we go. All right, so here are the hot cross buns. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sending all my love and positive energy to you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Have a blessed and happy Easter. And I'm definitely going to go pick out on these now. So let's enjoy. Which is probably something I can't even do. What about this Put it in the funnel with the person. <laughs> <laughs> like Javia. He like the fish. <laughs> <I> mean, like... <laughs> wow. I can actually see it. Mama, so and we're gonna make this up. Put some thing. naked jellyfish in there. You got shit all over yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Shh. Shh.